Hey everybody, and today we're going to go over the issue when you launch Metasoft or Office Hours and you get a bad IP address, uh, usually accompanied by a 6097 error. Um, usually that means that it can't really read the server's IP address. So what you want to do to fix that issue is we're going to go in here and we're going to go into our file explorer and we are going to go into this PC. I'm going to go into the C drive and I'm going to go into the Metasoft bin folder. And I'm going to look for a file called the ads.ini. If you do not have this file, you can create one. And as you can see, I have one set up right now. Um, this is the name of the computer, the server computer that you're connecting to, and the IP address for the server address. So if you already have this ads.ini file and um, you're, you're still getting that, this is all filled out and you're still getting that error, it's probably because this IP address is incorrect. So what you can do is go to this uh, search here and type in CMD, and you're gonna look for this command prompt. And you will type ping and put in the, uh, the uh, server name. So this one is sales WKSYC2R13. And I'm gonna do dash four, so I get the IPv4 address. Instead of the IPv6, uh, we, we need the IPv4. So I'm gonna put in that. And as you can see, the server IP address on this one is 10.0.136. So that's what I'm gonna put in here. I am gonna put 10 .10, or 10.0. Dot zero dot one three six, and I'm going to hit save. If you do not have this file currently, and you want to recreate it yourself, uh, just open up a text document, go in here and uh, put in this information that you have. Not not this exact information, but the information for your server computer and the server computer's IP address, and hit save. Now, when you create the the text document. You want to make sure that you change the extension file to .ini. So just like this one, if you don't see your extensions, you can go into view and turn on file extension. So see right here, you can't see it, but if I go back and turn that file extension back on, you'll see that .ini. So you want to make sure that it is a .ini file. And now, when I open up Metasoft, that IP address 6097 error that you were getting now is gone. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you want more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and also do us a favor and click that like button. Thanks again and see you on the next one.